You've probably heard about the world's water crisis. The number is staggering. 750 million people don't have access to clean water. What you might not have heard is that one third of the world's population lacks access to adequate sanitation. In fact, more people have access to a mobile phone than to a toilet. One billion people still have to defecate in the open, and certain hygiene habits like hand washing aren't feasible in such situations. If communities don't have access to good sanitation and hygiene, waste contaminates their food and water, putting families at risk for dozens of deadly diseases. Every year, more than 840,000 people die from water-related illnesses. But disease isn't the only consequence. Inadequate access to clean water and sanitation significantly affects the fight for gender equality too. Girls will miss days of school at a time when they get their periods because they don't have access to washrooms and sanitary pads. Or they don't go to school at all because they're the ones responsible for fetching water, which can take hours each day. Simply put, we cannot eradicate extreme poverty, gender inequality, and educational disparities without addressing issues related to water, sanitation, and hygiene. Luckily, we can all come together to solve this crisis. Social enterprises can facilitate sustainable solutions. Local leaders can start the conversation on healthy habits. And citizens everywhere can demand that we prioritize human health and welfare. If you believe that everyone has the right to clean water and sanitation, if you believe that together we can ensure a healthier, safer future for everyone, then you're a global citizen. Learn more and join us at globalcitizen.org.